Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be chatting about some more underrated products that I have in my collection. Things that I've discovered again recently or rediscovered and I just couldn't wait to share these with you guys because they're products that I really don't hear anybody talking about these days. Some of them were popular at one point, others I feel like I never heard anybody talk about before and I have done another video like this so if you'd like to see that one as well, if you missed it, I'll link it down in the description box below. After that one, a lot of you suggested that I make this a series and just keep on doing them. And I definitely have enough products in my head that I would love to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first one is from Cover FX. It's their Perfector Face Palette. I have mine in the shade Light to Medium, but it also does come in a deeper option as well. And not only are the shades in this palette perfect for my skin tone, but the finish of the powders is so beautiful. These are a talc-free formula and they just glide across your skin so smoothly. These are honestly some of the smoothest powders in my entire collection. They never look dry or powdery on my skin at all. And inside the palette, you get two different highlighters, a blush, a bronzer or a contour shade, and then a brightening powder and a finishing powder. So you have all of your face products in one palette. So it's perfect for traveling. I've even used this one on my eyes as well. The bronzer makes a perfect crease shade. And then the two highlighters look beautiful on your lids. I never hear people talk about this palette anymore, but it is so amazing, definitely worth the money. Next up, we have the Maybelline Hyper Easy Liquid Eyeliner. So this has actually been my favorite eyeliner for a long time, ever since it came out. I haven't talked about it in a while because I tend to go through phases where I don't really wear liquid liner and then I kind of go back to it again. But right now I've been doing a lot of winged eye looks and this just makes it so easy. It has the flexible brush tip, which I tend to prefer over the stiffer felt tip pens. And it's a super skinny tip as well, so you won't make too thick of a line. Since I have hooded eyes and my lid space is almost non-existent, I always wanna make sure that I do the skinniest line possible, and this just really makes it so easy. On top of that, it's waterproof and it lasts the entire day on me, so it's amazing. Next up, we have the Lorac Unzipped Palette. So this palette did get a lot of hype back in the day, but nobody really mentions it anymore. And I recently pulled it back out again and I just can't stop wearing it. The shades in here are those perfect rosy tone neutrals that I always gravitate toward. And the formula is honestly incredible. It's so pigmented yet really easy to blend and work with. And the shimmer shades are impactful and shiny, but they're also super smooth at the same time with no chunkiness or glitter, they're just so soft. And every time I wear this palette, I feel like my eye looks come out really nice just due to the ease of use of the formula. I think people tend to forget about Lorac these days, which is really sad because I think the products are super user friendly and just very, very high quality. So overall, this is just one of my favorite palettes. It's a staple and I've actually repurchased this one already. This is the second one that I've owned. Next up, another eyeshadow I am super excited about are these Moira Lucent Cream Eyeshadows. They're $7 each. I know I always talk about Moira's blushes, but these little eyeshadows are definitely flying under the radar. They come in the most beautiful colors. I only have these three at the moment, but I really wanna get some more. They just have such a soft and creamy feel, really similar to the ColourPop Super Shock shadows. And they just give your eyes a ton of impact and that glittery look without having to use pressed glitter, which I find very uncomfortable if it gets into your eyes. So I don't usually use pressed glitters, but these are just so much more user-friendly for me and you can just pat them on really quickly with your finger and that's it. And they look amazing just on their own or layered over a powder eyeshadow like I did here. And they just, they make so much impact and are super stunning. Next, we have the Balm's In Stain Blushes. This was actually the first blush I ever tried from the Balm, and after that, I was hooked, and I ended up buying them all. These not only come in beautiful shades, but the talc-free formula is just so long-lasting on your cheeks. Having dry skin, powder blushes tend to dust away on me after a short time and leave my cheeks looking kind of faded part of the way through the day, but these actually hold on until bedtime for me, so I never have to worry about my blush not lasting when I wear these. I do only have two shades at the moment, but I just keep meaning to get more because they're so beautiful. I believe the balm is currently sold out of some of the shades. They're having a sale right now, but I'll link some other options down below in the description box if there's a certain shade that you're looking for. 
Also from the Balm, I've really been loving their new Antidotes Tinted Moisturizer. This is a very recent release. I don't hear anybody talking about it though. I feel like a lot of people just don't talk about the Balm like they used to, which again is really sad because I think they have some very solid products. I bought this during their last 50% off sale and I really love it. It gives sheer coverage that just kind of evens out your skin tone, but for me, it's enough to hide a little bit of the redness that I have in my skin and the slight shadows underneath my eyes and it just makes my complexion look better and more uniform. The finish is the perfect satin that just looks like your natural skin. It's not too matte, not too glowy. And the shade that I bought, number 18, is a little bit too deep for my skin tone, but I usually like to go a little deeper with my foundations in the summertime, especially when it's more of a sheer formula like this one. Next up, we have the Benefit California Blush. This got some hype when it first came out several years ago, but since then, I don't really hear too much about it. I actually pull this one out every single summer because it's the most gorgeous coral shade with a little hint of gold. It does have an overspray that wears away over time. So at first you're gonna see a little bit more shimmer when you apply it, and then it gradually gets less and less as you use it. But either way, I just love this really bright and happy color. I feel like it wakes up my whole face and puts me in a really summery mood. It does come in a mini size as well. So if you don't wanna spend $30 on a blush, the mini size is definitely a great option if you just wanna try it out. Next, we have the Beauty Pie Triple Beauty Luminizing Wand. So this is actually one of my favorite highlighters. Again, I don't hear a lot of people talking about Beauty Pie in general, but it's only $7 if you're a Beauty Pie member, and it has the most gorgeous, smooth finish that isn't glittery, but it makes your skin look like it's glowing from within. I just dab it on directly with the sponge tip applicator, and then I blend it with my fingers, but you can also use a brush or a sponge, whatever you prefer, and the result is just the most beautiful glow. I love this stuff so much. It's actually an exact dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wand in the shade Spotlight. I mentioned this in a recent dupes video and not only are the colors and formula the same, but even the packaging is spot on. It's crazy. And the Charlotte Tilbury one is $38. So the Beauty Pie one is definitely a steal. You're getting the exact same thing. The next product is the Hourglass Number no. 28 Lip Oil, and this is definitely more on the expensive side. It's a bit of a splurge, but it's one of the most luxurious lip treatments I have ever tried. It has anti-aging and lip smoothing ingredients as well as like 10 different oils and vitamins and it just makes your lips look and feel so soft and hydrated and a little bit dewy. It just has the most beautiful finish. It's a thicker formula too, so that hydrated feeling lasts for hours and hours on me, so much longer than any other lip oils or balms that I've tried. It does have a little bit of an herbal scent to it due to the plant extracts in the formula, which may not be everybody's cup of tea, but I don't mind it at all and it seems to fade pretty quickly. I got mine in the shade Cameo, which is a beautiful rosy color, kind of like your lips but better, but I've owned other colors in the past and it also comes in clear if you just wanna use it as an overnight lip treatment. It is so, so good. And then last but not least, we have the Natasha Denona Mini Bronzing Glow. I bought this initially as an impulse purchase just while waiting in the checkout line at Sephora. I didn't realize though that I was gonna use this little guy as nearly as much as I have. I've taken this on trips with me and it's a surprisingly versatile product. It's intended to be a bronzer and a highlighter and I find that it does work really well for that. Despite the smaller pan sizes, I've used these on my face with no issues at all. The bronzer is a little bit more reddish toned also, which I definitely prefer over yellow or orangey tone bronzers. And sometimes I even just use the bronzer as a blush when I want more of a neutral kind of nude cheek. I've also used these shades on my eyes in a pinch as well. I think the bronzer works great as a crease shade and then the golden highlight is the perfect lid shade. One time when I was on vacation, I used just this palette on my eyes, cheeks, and all over my face and it just gave the most beautiful bronzy look. So this is definitely also something you can take on a trip with you. It's super small and will fit pretty much in any bag. All right guys, so those are some of the most underrated products in my collection that I really wish more people would talk about. Just quickly, what I'm wearing on my face today, I'm wearing the Lorac unzipped palette on my eyes. And like I said earlier in the video, it's just a beautiful palette with a gorgeous formula. I absolutely love it. All over my face, I'm wearing the Antidotes Tinted Moisturizer from The Balm. Then on my lips, I'm actually wearing the Hourglass Lip Oil that I showed you guys. I just love this color. I love how it feels. It's so amazing. 
I did use the Maybelline liquid liner today on my eyes as well. And then for my cheeks, I'm actually wearing the blush from the Cover FX palette. And again, love this. It's such a brilliant palette. I think it's amazing. Oh, and I am wearing the bronzer from the little mini bronze and glow from Natasha Denona. So anyway, guys, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And also I'd love to hear what your underrated products are down below. What things have you been loving that you don't hear anybody else talk about? I always love hearing your thoughts and I always get so many great recommendations from all of you. So anyway, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoyed this video and you like saving money on makeup, drugstore makeup, and dupes, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I do a lot of videos like that here on my channel. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.